Hello and welcome to following Yeshua Ministries. Now today I want to take some time out to explain to you and to talk about the Lord's appointed feasts or divine appointments. The Lord's divine appointments are set dates of the Lord known as Passover, the Feast of Tabernacles. Now each one of these feasts in Hebrew is called a Mikra. Now we translate that as convocation. But the Hebrew word implies a dress rehearsal. So every time on Passover the Jews went to the dress rehearsal of killing the Passover lamb on Passover because that is when the event was going to happen. So now as we know Yeshua died on Passover. Yeshua was buried on the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Yeshua rose on the Feast of First Fruits and the Spirit was poured out on the Feast of Pentecost, or Shavuos. But what most Christians don't know is that the Jews have been keeping Pentecost for every year for 1500 years. These feasts of the Lord are shadows of every major event in the first coming of Yeshua and also of his second coming. Also to the exact day and in some cases to the exact hour. Now get this. It was at the third hour of the day that they bound Yeshua. Well that's nine in the morning, the time of the morning sacrifice. So at that very moment, the high priest was binding the Passover lamb to the altar, they're binding the lamb of Yahweh to the cross and they're singing the songs, they would always sing Psalms 113 through 118. Did you know that Yahweh had David write the funeral song for his son a thousand years before? Is God brilliant or what? As I was saying at the very moment, at the very moment they were binding the Passover lamb to the altar, they were binding Yeshua to the stake that many Christians know as the cross. Josephus records two and a half million Jews were in Jerusalem, and that there's this choir that is singing. And the words they're singing is, bind the sacrifice with cords, even to the horns of the altar. This is what they're singing at the very moment. This is what Yeshua is hearing as they're binding Yeshua to the stake. And then at noon when he's lifted up, and he said, if I be Lifted I will draw all men to me, guess what they're singing. Psalm 118. And what are the words? 1335. The right hand of the Lord is lifted up. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. So not only did he fulfill the feast to the day, but also to the very single hour. And so the thing is this. If we are not on the right calendar, your ways calendar, how can we be with Yeshua at his appointed feasts? See the world's calendar is based on the sun. The Islamic calendar is based on the moon. But your way says, let them, both the sun and the moon, determine the days of my day timer. Now if the first feasts are perfect shadows to the day, the hour of the events in the death and resurrection of Yeshua. What about last few feasts? What are they shadows of? Now if you believe Yeshua fulfilled the spring feast to the day of the first coming, then understand that Yeshua will fulfill the fall feast to the day of the second coming.